All right, so we are back here. We got about a week until we're going out on our first trip. We've taken this beast out of storage. It's been sitting on our driveway. We camped in it once or twice already for the girls' birthdays. That was a great time. Now it's time to start really getting it ready. So this week, my wife and I really want to focus on everything inside, outside, all of the equipment, where we're putting stuff, organizing it again. Um, just kind of doing that first systems check before you go out. Now that we're in year three, we have a good idea of what we use, what we don't. Um, this is the first year though since we bought this, so it's on year three. We did about 11 trips last year, maybe four or five the year before. I've never had to touch the tires. They filled these with nitrogen. So when we bought them, we knew they were nitrogen. They said it lasts a long time. I got the Time 8 tire pressure system on here. Um, so I was always monitoring them. And yeah, they kept up their their uh, uh, tire pressure. Kept that up, which was great. But now what I want to make sure is that they're full. And I can tell you right now, I know they're not. Uh, this year coming out of storage, they were all a little low. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to put in the air um, into those. But I wanna show you the Time 8 tire pressure system real quick. I'm gonna go ahead, flip this camera around. So this is the system, right? You got these little uh, frequency monitor things that go on and you can hear that air escaping when you put it on and off. Behind these is a washer. So you see that little washer there? I, when I put these on the first time, I tighten this thing down so hard because I was like, I do not want these to fly off. I don't want air escaping. So I tighten these things down and I had a heck of a time getting them off. So my recommendation would be is to keep it a little bit, not all the way snug on the back, but just where this thread isn't very deep. So when you put this on, just kind of find the end of that and then just make it a little bit tight. Don't tighten it down like I did. Uh, it just, it took a long time for me to get all four of these off. So that's just one little note there I have. The other thing I went out and purchased is this Azuno um, little tire pressure system. So I have a, an air pump in my house, but this thing's cool because when I hook this up, here, oops, I tighten down my thing again. When I put this on, it gives me a reading, as you can see, hopefully you can see that, um, what the pressure is. So if I just go ahead and start to fill it, it shows me how much pressure is going. And as I let it go, it lets me know how much in there. So I know where I gotta be on these. And, and just one note, you know, when we were look, talking about tires and, and the pressure and things like that, you wanna make sure you're paying attention to how much tire pressure you have in there. The time aid system was one of the probably the first things we kind of bought outside of like little things we need inside safety you know that's my number one concern with the family in here and, and driving around with my kids and this thing's huge and heavy uh the last thing i want to worry about is my tires so just knowing that i can monitor them from up front while i'm driving uh, it's a lot of peace of mind so i can't recommend the time aid system enough um you know we have links down below to all of the different equipment i'll include a link to this izuno um tire whatever they want to call this thing tire pressure thing with the monitor inside. Um, that was also important. I don't want to rely on the sticks. I, I just think it's nice to have this. I get an exact reading. I know what's going on, which air is going in, which air is coming out. That way I don't over inflate, under inflate. Very important. So a couple other things. This Jayco 32 BHDS had a recall on it this year. So um, I have to take it in and I'm doing that this week because the, uh, the regulator in here, is uh, apparently bad. So they actually say, do not use these tanks at all in here with the regulator. I might've snuck and done that anyway, but I don't wanna screw around with that either. So because there's a recall, I know I could probably buy one online, do it myself, but it's under warranty. It has the recall going on, gonna do that. The last kind of thing I wanna mention here um, is just that, you know, when you get everything out of storage, you're always considering, what do we need this year? What do we not have last year we might wanna buy? We're really gonna look this year. We've been doing this for three years now. We really wanna look at it and say, okay, organizationally, how can we fix things? I bought a ton of totes and there's videos on our channel of what we bought when we first got it and how we used it. And I just noticed that as you kind of camp and we had 11 runs last year. So in camping, everything is really unorganized. Everything kind of came out. Um, we really, you know, none of my, the only thing that's really still in there is, is my, uh, my black tank stuff, my electrical stuff and my water, they're all in there, but I have little pieces of things sticking out everywhere. So here's, here's my little, uh, you know, plug to make sure my surge guard, I got that laying out there. So it's not that the totes inside aren't the best thing that we've done. It's just how we use them. Were they too big? Did they break? So what we're going to do is kind of assess all this this week and then come back and, and show you what we've done to help organize them and show you how I organized underneath. That's going to be a whole nother video. My wife's going to go inside, start looking at cabinets, you know, with the kids, how do we organize everything? So a lot of videos going to be coming out on this channel this season. And if you follow us and you're on the channel, you're going to notice that we kind of come in, 
we do a bunch of camping, we put out as many videos as we can, and we go silent when it's the off season because honestly, we're not camping. Uh, so that might change this year, but as far as what we're doing, this is really, you know, our family going out, camping, having fun, and just enjoying those campgrounds we go to. We're getting familiar with them. We're starting to find our favorites that we're going back to. And we are by no means like vacationers in this. We do not take it far. We don't stay in it long. Um, it's usually a weekend thing. And we don't drive outside of really like an hour and a half, two hours maybe at the most is the furthest I'm willing to go. And it's I'm just not comfortable driving that far with it yet. Uh, it's not that I don't have the practice of it. I just, we haven't planned a far trip because a lot of the campgrounds where we're from, um, we haven't hit yet. So I think that's something to just consider keep in the back of your mind that you might buy this and see all these other channels on, on here on YouTube, which are great of people that RV full time or living them full time or traveling across the country. And I might be your style and that's great. For us, it's not, we have three kids. It's like, okay, camping's fun, but eh, three days is probably your limit. So gonna go ahead take care of some of this stuff uh, I don't know where I'm gonna see you again it might be on our camping trip uh, but I just wanted to get this all out there